In this video, we'll be creating this looping animation using the free software Envy and some pre-made artwork. So we're just gonna drag and drop each of these in. And it's important in this case that we have different layers with transparency uh, of these images. So notice we'll just drag and drop them into Envy and each is their own layer, which, is let, which will let us move them around uh, independently from each other. This is artwork that was created in Inkscape and you can download it in, a, in a, look for the link in the description of this video if you wanna download and follow along with this exact artwork. You're also welcome to use this artwork for anything that you'd like. Uh, so once we get all the artwork in and positioned where we want it, we can just click, um, left click and drag to reposition it uh, to wherever you'd want to. Uh, and you, we can scale it up, change the size, of course. And if you don't want some of these elements, you don't have to have it. But the important thing is that each one of these is their own layer. So if we turn them off, we can see they're independent from each other, which is going to let us animate and move them at different speeds to create this looping parallax effect. So the first thing we'll do is we'll take these mountains. And if we do this drop down here, we click this red dot. That enables keyframes, and it sets a keyframe at the current point where, where the playhead is, which is basically at zero. And then we'll duplicate these mountains and we'll drag the duplicated copy all the way over here to the left. We'll make sure we line it up exactly where the other one is. Uh, and then that way when it loops over, it'll just connect to it. And because we turned on keyframes on both of these, uh, Envy is just going to move, it'll, it'll interpolate is what it's called, it creates keyframe, it creates uh, frames in between those two keyframes, and it will just seamlessly kind of move these over and over and overlap them on top of each other, just like this. So our background staying the same, the mountains are looping over and over. Um, I should have mentioned, this is not a, a basic beginner tutorial, I'm assuming you have a little bit of familiarity with Envy, just so you can see what this process is like. And it's the same thing that you would do, we, um, I have videos showing how to do this in Caden Live, and OpenTunes, and other software, so it's the same concept, I just want to show you kind of the, the method that you would go about doing it in Envy. So then we'll repeat the same process over and over again. It's very important that we click this red dot to enable keyframes, otherwise it'll just be moving the object. Um, it, but once the keyframe is enabled, then moving the object automatically triggers and sets a new frame position. And so to do that, we'll just go over and over again with these planets. We're just going to move them around since they're not cycling through. Their transform is just going to be moving. Um, so we go to the end over here to, to frame 200. We'll, we'll click to create a keyframe in this spot, and then we'll move these just slightly. So we can come over here maybe to you know, 50 frames in, and we'll have them go over here to the left. And then we'll come over again to frame 100, and then we'll have them go up and to the right a little bit. And then again, so there's 200 frames total here in this looping animation, so at 150 we'll have them come here to the right, and then they'll reset back to their other original point. And so that creates sort of this hovering effect of planets uh, while everything else, you know, at the same time, everything's going to be moving. And these dots here, like these stars, uh, we can enable keyframes. And with these ones, we can do other things. I want to show you that it doesn't have to move. In this case, we can do like opacity, for example. And so we'll turn down the opacity at um, 15 frames in. We'll have them like kind of twinkle. So they're going to go down to 78% opacity, which is just kind of their how bright they are, you can, you know, if you don't, if you don't understand opacity, it just makes them more transparent, more see-through. And so we can go through and just systematically throughout this 200 frames, we'll just change. And again, notice when we make the change, it creates a blue dot, which is a key frame. And then it will then automatically, you know, cycle between those key frames incrementally and adjust its opacity. So these stars will, you know, they're going to twinkle and, and, you know, go just add a little bit more um, dynamics to our to our animation. And then if we turn on the visibility of all these layers, we can see what our full animation will look like. And there you have it. That's creating a parallax looping animation in Envy. We can render this out. We just go to scene, add to render. We go down here to the scene. And in this case, we'll change the settings and render out a video. And instead of image sequence, which is by default, we'll change it to an MP4, which is, in this case, you could render out the images too. But this way, it'll render out an MP4 video uh, that you can use for whatever purpose. And it's looping over and over again. 
Hopefully you found this informative. I'll make some more tutorials on Envy in the future. But in the meantime, enjoy. Look forward to catching you in the next video.